But the rupture of the dam on Monday has led to a death toll which is not totally clear. Hundreds are, though, missing. Thousands have been left homeless. The dam, as I said, under construction when it collapsed. There have been bad weather and campaigners saying heavy rain overwhelmed the project and the people living in the area should have been given more warning. Our correspondent, Caitlin McGee, is in Phnom Penh in Cambodia. Uh, this is a remote area, Caitlin. There are pictures of people struggling on makeshift rafts, trying to do what they can before the authorities get to them. How is the rescue operation of people going? Well, at the moment, rescue operations are ramping up. As you mentioned, hundreds missing, thousands that need to be saved. But yes, those efforts are going to be hampered by the isolated area uh, in which those people are in. The flood zone and all the roads leading into it have been completely washed away. It is only accessible uh, via helicopter and flat bottom boat. Now, you mentioned there the South Korean uh, president. He is uh, helping aid and putting in place measures to assist in those rescue operations. He says uh, that his government feels partly responsible or an element of responsibility because there are two South Korean companies that have been involved in constructing that dam but they need to move quickly they need to find a faster way to get into that area because there are a lot of people uh, that are in need and need help fast the timeline of what happened is kind of indicative it was 22nd of July a few days ago that uh, there was a problem with part of the dam that the workers were then trying to repair but the bad weather continued now, these uh, environmental campaigners say that a lot more warning should have been given. The South Korean company says it gave warning. The campaigners say it wasn't enough. That may have been significant. Well, absolutely, and all of that just adds to the controversy around this dam. This, these warnings and this dismay that's being expressed now is not the first time that the local community had raised issues. There have been a lot of protests while the dam was being constructed. Uh, environmental activists too were very concerned about uh, the environmental uh, implications and impact, but also safety for the locals living in the shadow of the dam. Now, it doesn't look like any of those uh, concerns have been taken into account or certainly uh, not looked into with a lot of scrutiny and Laos is a, a poor country but one resource that it does have is water and it's now exporting its hydropower to neighboring countries like Thailand and what that means there is that there has been this proliferation of these big expensive dams and what we can see from this incident is that there doesn't look like there has been a huge amount um, of scrutiny with safety uh, and certainly perhaps not a lot of uh, consultation or the concerns from the local community don't appear to have been taken into account.